Grand Union was founded in 1872 as the Jones Tea Company, later becoming Grand Union in the early 20th century. At that time, a supermarket really wasn't a thing, but soon Grand Union and other supermarkets like A&P founded what would be called the supermarket. During the early 20th century, Grand Union had many and many locations scattered throughout the Northeast and as far west as well. Many of these stores were in small towns. Some of them were in shopping centers, but most of them were in small towns. Grand Union was doing pretty good up until the late 90s when chains like Walmart, Kmart, and Target started out of groceries. So a lot of Grand Unions would close around that time when other stores started to populate around where Grand Union's market was. In 2001, the original Grand Union company, CNS Wholesale, filed for Chapter 7 or Chapter 11 bankruptcy. I kind of get confused with whatever chapter it is. I think it was Chapter 7. And all Grand Unions went out of business at that time. Tops would acquire Grand Union, most of the stores, in 2001 when Grand Union went out of business completely. Most of the Grand Union locations were converted to Tops. Some locations were closed completely. Around 2009 or 2010, some Tops locations were converted back to Grand Union and were called Grand Union Family Markets where they got rid of the iconic 1980s red dot from their stores. These stores were only in business until 2012-2013 when Tops again purchased these stores. Here in 2022, 11 or 10 former Tops locations became Grand Union grocery stores once again. And this time, without calling them the family markets, they're now called Grand Union once again. And they have the red dot, the iconic red dot, came back to the Grand Union grocery stores like back in the day. So Grand Union went from bankrupt to being partially opened again and now being opened once again. And hopefully for generations and generations to come.